All right, guys. So let's do our midday market recap. I know it's only 1030, but um, I'm going to throw in the towel here today with $5,183.29. What a way to finish the week. That is a really, I mean, I can't really ask for much more than that. Uh, I started the week on a really uh, kind of disappointing note with a technical error that cost me uh, 4000 uh losing my internet connection in the middle of a trade. It's the luck of the draw. It's disappointing and frustrating, but, um, you know, it's one of those things that sometimes happens. So that put me in the red on the week right away, and I've had to spend the rest of the week getting myself out of the hole. On Tuesday, I didn't take any trades. I didn't see anything that was worth taking, so no trades on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I made $528. Yesterday, I lost uh, 300 on two day trades, and I was up 800 on a swing trade, which ended up getting stopped out with only $200 profit. So yesterday, I lost $128, and now today on day 152, 152nd trading day of the year, I'm up $5,183.29. So remember yesterday when we talked about... Um, the importance of number one being patient sitting tight waiting for those a quality setups and then when they come getting aggressive and that's what i did today now on rtnb uh this is the stock this is the only stock i traded today i didn't i you know saw other things i was thinking about trading uvxy but i didn't uh, uvxy of course would be trading against the market going down I just stayed focused on, um, you know, looking for, um, you know, just one one good opportunity. And I said I might not trade today because I just, you know, it's Friday. I haven't had a very good week. I'm getting a little frustrated. I might just not trade. And then uh, all of a sudden we see on the scanner RTNB hit at uh, 9.42. And when it hit, I was like, hmm. It's a dollar three. I don't know. And then I saw it go to a dollar seventeen, and I was like, okay, well, hold up. That's going from a dollar three to a dollar seventeen is significant. That's a pretty big move. So I was like, okay, this thing is moving quickly. I need to pull it up. I pull up the chart, and the first thing I see is this beautiful daily chart. This is the daily chart of my uh, one of my swing trading setups, which is buying stocks that are weak off the low. This is the same setup we took on meat uh, yesterday. You can see meat here on the daily chart. Uh, now, meat was a great trade at 51 with 4,000 shares, and uh, it moved up to 70. So I was up, uh, you know, 20 cents, 800 bucks. That's a solid trade. Maybe I should have taken the profit halfway there or something. I thought, though, that it had room to keep going. So anyways, I love that setup. It's the same one we traded on ZYNE uh, last week uh, on on. Uh, this day here, and then this is the one that we saw as well. So when I saw that on RTNB, I was like, we got an A quality setup, daily setup. Now that's in contrast to when I see a stock hit the scanner and I look at the daily setup and I'm like, mm, I don't see anything because it's, it's cheap and I don't like the setup and that makes me just not very interested. So once I saw that setup, I was like, I love it. This is exactly what I look for. I'm going to try to jump in. I saw a little... Uh, micro pullback right here under 120. It popped up to 124 and pulled back just for a second. And I'll show you guys, um, let's see the screen here. So that was that little pullback. And I saw that and I was like, you know what? I just got to jump in and I, I can't be afraid to be aggressive. So let me just drag this up here. Um, and this is halted again right now at uh, let's see, it was halted at 194. It's still running. I mean, it's still showing a lot of strength. So we'll keep this on watch even as we're doing this uh, midday recap. But in any case, um, I, I was like, this looks good. So I jumped in 5,000 shares at 120, 5,000 at 122, and another 5,000 at 125. So, you know, I, I stepped up to the plate on this one. And you know what? This was risky in a sense because... Do you, you guys may remember one of the last times I stepped up to the plate like this on uh, this price range. Let's see. Um, I'll switch this around. Uh, the last time was... Oh, let me scroll up a little bit. That's right. It was BDR. BDR. And what happened was on this one, I jumped in at... 
117 with 15,000 shares. 117. It pops up to one, I don't know, 129. And then it drops. And it dropped fast. And I lost $7,000 on it. And I was not happy. I was very frustrated. And the reason I was aggressive on that was because just earlier in the week, we had seen an awesome setup uh, just like RTNB that we see today. And RTNB looks like it's going to be halted again. This thing is just going uh, parabolic. I'm not going to beat myself up for taking my profit on it because remember what happened on G DGLT. It squeezed up and then what happened? It got halted on a T12 circuit breaker pending uh, pending, uh, in basically, they want news from SEC, from uh, the company. The SEC wants news from the company. Why is your stock up 300%? I don't want to get caught in RTNB, even with 3,000 shares. You know, I just don't want to get caught with $6,000 that I'm holding now until it resumes. DGLT has got a lot of people trapped right now. There's a lot of people that are long and short this stock that can't get their money out until it resumes. So I'm going to take the approach of take the money and get out of the way. I'm going to be you know, one of the first ones in with a really good average, and I'm not going to overstay my welcome. I'm going to be quick to take my profit out of the market, and now I've got $5,000, and I'm going to protect it. I really encourage you guys to have that same attitude. And it doesn't mean that you can't you know, maybe scale out a little bit of profit on the way up here if you're still holding, but just know that this is going to start to raise eyebrows what's going on. Now, remember the uh, resistance point that I called out was uh, 229 that was, uh, or it was 2.30. It was right around the nine moving average. And right now we're halted at 2.10. My entry at 1.22, I mean, we're up, we're going to be pushing 100% off that entry. And it's going to be, I mean, that's pretty impressive. There's no doubt about it. So sure, I could kick myself and say, dang it, I, I should have held it longer. But if this gets halted on a T12 circuit breaker halt, I'll be thinking, dang it, I should have taken the profit. And if you have that attitude, then basically you're, you always are a loser. You always lose because you lose because you sold too soon or you lose because you held too long. So instead, pat yourself on the back when you take some profit. Be grateful that you had it. And remember that if you're green today, you're doing something 9 out of 10 traders can't do. So just walk away green. And you know what? We'll see, we'll see another one of these come around. We'll see another one you know, next week, next month. They'll keep happening. So anyways, I got in at, um, let's see, do, 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 turn this around. So I got in at 122, 15,000 shares, which is a little aggressive. I added at 146 for the break of 150, got myself up to 16,000 shares. Uh, I tried to add at 132 and I didn't get filled. I tried to sell at 156 or 155, I didn't get filled. I finally sold 5,000 shares at 159. Oops, so I started scaling out a little bit, 5,000 shares at 159. And then I started having some difficulty. I tried to sell at 62, 64, no fills. Finally filled a little at 65, so that got me down to only 6,000 shares. We dropped down. I tried to sell at 40 and 38, no fill. End up trying to fill at 49. I filled 1,005 shares. Filled a little more at 38, and at that point, I was out of the trade. Bailed out completely right here, 37.36. I then got back in at uh, 6, tried to get back in at 60, I didn't get filled. Tried to get back in at 68, I got filled. I sold 2,000 shares at 86. I sold another, I tried to sell 500 shares at 91, didn't get filled, sold the rest at 78. And that's how you get $5,183.29. So we're halted right now again on a five-minute circuit breaker halt. You can see the halt time was 10.32 and 25 seconds. That means it'll resume around 10.37. So uh, we're sitting right here at 10.36. We'll expect a resumption. This may go parabolic. Maybe it'll go up to 250. Maybe it'll go to $3. And it's going to do that without me. But if this gets halted on T12, I'm not going to be in it. And I'm not going to have to worry about losing 50% of my uh, of my capital because it resumes, you know, a week later with, uh, you know, the, at a 50% loss. And, the, you know, that's what we've seen with the, with a lot of stocks that get halted on T12s, uh, DGLY, KBIO, 
Uh, there's a bunch of others. DGLT is still unknown. It's still halted. And so you've got a lot of people who have their capital tied up in this trade. They, they can't do anything. I mean, they might have margin calls and they're just sitting there waiting. So I know that's frustrating. Um, I've been fortunate, knock on wood, that, that hasn't happened to me. But it's partly because I take this approach of knowing uh, when to uh, take my exit and say, I'll let, I'll let guys play with this that, that want to get aggressive, and I'm just going to be uh, feeling good that I got that good entry early on. All right, so that's about it for today. Um, you know, that's a, it's a really nice midday market recap. I always love having a big green day, and it's a great finish to the week. So um, I'm just happy for that. It puts me up uh, about 1,000 on the week, which is good. So really, that in one day really just totally turned around uh, my month in a lot of ways. This has been a pretty slow month. So boom, just add five grand uh, of profit to to the month. So we've still got two full weeks left. I'm going to take the same approach, looking for a quality setups. On Monday, I'll start putting, uh, you know, putting out my swing trade watch list, the stocks I'm watching for swings, not taking any swings here going into the weekend. I don't want to do that. But uh, starting on Monday, we'll see what we can find. Okay, so I hope that uh, you guys who are going to keep trading, trade smart. Uh, you know, remember how much you're risking on these trades. Try to finish the week, um, you know, in, in good shape. And just remember, green is good. Okay, so that's it. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you first thing on Monday morning. All right, bye, guys. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Well, I was just working on the dream board for my next home run trade. Hopefully it comes soon. Until then, make sure you subscribe to get email alerts anytime I go live or upload new videos. Until then, happy surfing.